Hey guys, I'm on the on a call with Bertie. We've been talking about um, some things about the DST and lag tension and impact, and uh, getting a little bit more into the weeds about it. Bertie, when you uh, when whenever I have worked in the uh, in the past on getting that uh, lag tension and impact or shaft lean or uh, hands forward or off the left leg, I always start hitting it real well, but then I stop working on it because I start shanking it. And you were telling me just now that you guys actually just, uh, not even with the DST, with the impact line, you guys had an independent laboratory do a study about it, huh? Yeah, so we, we have a, a transition club uh, called this uh, DST CR10, which is essentially, we do it in two clubs. We do it in a wedge and an A-Time. And we sent off uh, these um, these clubs to be tested independently, completely uh, uh, with with no no introduction at all to, to some guys at the Cherry Research and Development Facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. And they tested the clubs over a period of months with the same players. And the only thing they told them was, at, at the point of impact, you want that line to be pointing up to your eyes. And that's the the, the results were fascinating. Number one, everything improved. So. Um, torso and, and pelvic rotational velocities improved, uh, shot dispersion tightened, ball strike uh, improved, so they, they, they were happier that they were striking the ball and then the turf. Uh, and what we saw with K-Vest and um, Trackman was that whereas at the beginning of the testing, I think, a lot, I'll get the figures to you, but essentially a large percentage of the, these people who were tested had a slight bias to come over the top and swing out to win, have a club path that comes out to win. And just with the DST impact line alone in the, in the uh, CR10s, uh, that path was neutralised, essentially. The, the players started to swing the club more from the inside to the ball and then back into the inside or down or even have a slight in-to-out swing path. Uh, so that's great. I mean, basically, it, it, it improved their their transition and their weight transfer and the swing path, whilst also getting their hands into a stronger impact position, which was fantastic. The one, just returning to what you were talking about there, when you try and sustain uh, lag tension through impact, your ball strike improves, but then suddenly you get the odd shank. That tends to happen when you get players who are coming at the ball from the inside, because for the first time in, you know, potentially ever, they're, pro they're producing a swing path that shows the, the hosel of the golf club towards the ball instead of them coming over the top and, and showing the toe of the club to the ball. So they're essentially doing everything right, and they're basically just presenting the, 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 the heel of the club from an inside path to the ball, and that's the odd, you know, on the odd occasion you hit a shank. The answer is what you should be doing then is keeping the same transition and, and, and pivot into impact, but essentially wanting, what you're wanting to do is to sort of straighten up the path so you still swing from in to in rather than from in to out. Yeah. So is there a drill like, you know, where you, you put a head cover on the outside of the ball or something like that that you usually use as a go-to if that does happen? Yeah, so ten, there's a number of things. I mean, you, that's a very good way. You can put a block of wood just opposite the toe or just adjacent to the toe. So you, you, you've got some physical barrier to stop you from, uh, from, from swinging from in to out. You can do that or you can just do some drills. I, I, I've got one on the, on the, uh, YouTube channel, which is um, uh, just a split hand grip, because essentially if you pivot well through impact, so if you grip a, a golf club here somewhere, um, if you if you grip a golf club with your left hand or top hand in the normal position, and then your right hand or bottom hand just on the on the metal here, and just swing up to the top of the backswing and then down, because you can't physically hit the ball like that. You have to force, you're forced to rotate your body and your hips towards the target and not stop in order to get the club head to sort of be, uh, to reach the position where the ball would be. And that's a, a good drill to continue to train your body into, into pivoting better through impact. So you've got more passive hands and you're swinging your pelvis and your belt buckle and your chest past, you know, past the target and see that they end up aiming left or finishing left of the target. So you're not quitting on the shot and then your hands take over. Um, so basically those, those things will help you um, m mitigate that whole from inside to outside path, which produces on occasion the shank or the Egyptian fade, as we prefer to call it. Right, right. And, and then with, um, with, uh, with this study, so what was really interesting in, in that is that 
uh, we hear a lot of like bits and pe- like uh, instruction broken down into bits and pieces, like how to come more from the inside, how to shallow the shaft, how to get shaft lean. But you're saying like just just changing the concept in your mind of what you should be doing can can knock out three or four things rather than piecemealing it all together. Yeah, well, that's the wonderful thing. I mean, that, that that's that's rather like uh, if you find something that's um, uh, what's the word? By triangulating something and a position in the golf swing that has to be correct, that has to be critical to be right, um, then by default you automatically correct a number of other things that are desirable to have. So, so uh, here's an example: um, uh, if you teach positional sort of uh, instructions and go and see a teacher who says uh, P1 you need to be here and P2, P3 and you go through the whole clock face and the desire, wanting to reach and obtain desirable positions you can do that and you can still be horrible at impact right? but if you focus on where it's critical to be at impact then suddenly you can you can almost re-engineer your golf swing in slow motion from impact backwards. You say to yourself if my hands need to be there at impact to support my hands being in that position, my body has to be in this position in order for my hands to be there. So suddenly, if you work backwards from that, there you go. Well, I suddenly realize that my weight needs to be more on my left side for my, my body to support my hands being there. And that kind of almost in itself um, generates a new swing for you just by starting small, hitting a chip shot and realizing that I need my hand to be there. I need my body to be there, my hips slightly open. And then you can build a bit larger and larger swing and suddenly you're, you're reaching positions that you would like to achieve by not focusing on those positions, but by focusing on something like the impact position. Yeah, you're reverse engineering it rather than trying to hope that it happens. A funny story that um, I think Bobby Clampett tells this story about when they shot the movie Tin Cup with Kevin Costner and they taught him the pro grip, the pro backswing. He had to look exactly perfect, you know, for the movie. So he had, he had the pro grip, the pro backswing, the pro transition, the pro downswing. And after all the, learning all that, you know, to look perfect, he was like a solid 25 to 30 handicap, you know. Yeah. So it, it's really not about the parts and pieces, but maybe, maybe it's about the intention. And then the parts and pieces will follow that. All right, Bernie. So um, we're going to stop this recording now. Guys, You, if you're interested in this, uh, this is kind of a – a preview video to I'm about to get um, the four impact clubs. So, so the four DST clubs, the wedge, the CR 10 wedge, the compressor eight iron, and then the CR 10 eight iron. So I was uh, calling Bertie about um, what, what to expect and uh, really how to use it. So if you guys are interested, go to dstgolf.com and use the promo code DST be better golf. Yeah. And um, you guys get 15% off a really amazing discount. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the subscribe button. See ya.